when we have those days that are, I don't know, mostly cloudy, maybe a little bit overcast, but it's still pretty bright out, mm -hmm. are we producing power with our solar panels even though we don't have that direct sunlight? Yes. Yep. So even See if... See what uh, I mean? I, this blows my mind. <laughs> you don't produce as much energy sure. on a rainy day, um, but you still will produce some juice, you know, even wow. on a partly cloudy, overcast day. Obviously, full sun, you're going to produce the most amount of power. But, um, but it's not a necessity. You're still producing power with cloud cover. Yep. You're still producing power with cloud cover. And when we run our analysis, we take 30 years worth of weather averages. So the average number of cloudy days, sunny days, snowy days, average number of snowfall, and we take averages, you know, like our month of February was uh, this year in 2024 was extremely sunny compared to last year. With the panels being bifacial and the power is produced off of the UVA and UVB rays, so very similar to how I have to put sunscreen on my kids even on a cloudy day in the summertime, it is it's a I've very never similar, made that connection. Yeah, it's a very similar kind of uh, process. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not saying I've been sunburned multiple times on vacation on cloudy days, but yeah, that makes complete <laughs> sense. That's the same thing. Yep. Yeah. When our winters, you know, the January and February where we don't produce as much power as we do in the summertime because of our longer days in the summertime where, you know, it doesn't get dark until 930 at night in the middle of the summer. We have several more hours of production where we can produce that make up for the winter months when we produce more power than what we're using at the home right so where does that power go that power will go back to the utility and with our smart meters that allows us to pull and push power so the utilities they went around a couple years ago and swapped out most of the meters to smart meters and that was twofold they can now read your meter remotely um, as well as it allows us to push and pull power. So when we have excess production, that power will go back through our meter and we'll feed the utility line and they will compensate us for the power that we have produced.